iOS 15.4 was recently released by Apple and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys a few settings that you must change on your iPhone. But first of all, let me know which iPhone do you currently own and if you are happy or not with the newest iOS update. Also, if you enjoy this type of videos, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. This video is sponsored by Setapp, an incredible cross-platform suite which gives you access to over 200 iOS and macOS applications without any additional cost. You only need to pay for your subscription and choose the apps that you would like to use. Now, a great benefit is that you can start a 7-day trial for free when you use the link listed down below in the description. So starting off, I highly suggest you go to Siri and Dictation. So here you go to Settings press on Siri and press on Siri and Dictation History. There was a bug that would send your voice interactions to Apple even though you opt out of sending this information. So make sure that right now you delete Siri and Dictation History. Now, if you want to improve your privacy when browsing, there is a setting that I highly recommend you enable it, which is Privacy Relay. So make sure you go to your iCloud settings. So make sure you press on your name right here at the top. Press on iCloud and press on Private Relay. This feature is currently on beta, as you can see right here, but it's a nice feature for you to enable because it hides your IP address in browsing activity in Safari. And this will also protect your unencrypted internet traffic so that no one, even Apple, like it says right here, can see both who you are and what sites you're visiting. So make sure to enable private relay. And instead of talking about privacy, now let's go to location services. So let's go back, make sure you go to privacy, location services, go all the way down, press on system services, and press on significant locations. So mine is currently disabled, but the important thing here is to make sure it is disabled because the update may turn it back on automatically. And what this setting does, like it says right here, is that it allows your iPhone and iCloud connected devices to learn places significant to you in order to provide useful location related information in maps, calendar, photos, and more. So this keeps like a, um, a huge data of all of, of your recent locations, just like it says here, significant locations. So pretty much your phone will have the history of all the places that you've been before. So I like to leave this disabled. In the fourth setting that I highly recommend you enable is tracking notifications. So make sure you go to notifications right here and look for tracking notifications. So go all the way to T and right here, tracking notifications. This is a great feature because it will notify you when you leave one of your Find My items behind. So let's say you have an AirTag or you have AirPods, any of the items that are, that are currently in your Find My app, if you leave them behind, you will be notified right here on your iPhone. And in order for you to receive that notification, this needs to be enabled. But that's something else that is extremely important because if this is disabled, you will not be notified if someone is tracking you. So let's say that you are being tracked to buy an AirTag that is not yours. If this feature is not enabled, you will not receive a notification saying that the AirTag is close to you. So make sure that this feature is enabled, tracking notifications. Something else that I highly recommend you do is to change the banner style to persistent so the notification won't disappear after a while and make sure you change the show previews to always. 
Do not choose when unlocked or never because you may not receive an important notification that way. And these are all the settings that I highly recommend you change on your iPhone after updating to iOS 15.4. If you're curious about the update, this is a solid update. It has been running smoothly on my iPhone, but please do let me know down below in the comments what you think about the new iOS. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.